What is up, everybody? You know, I always start this show off by showing love to those companies who help make this podcast possible. Guys, first and foremost is my friends over at Company Cam. If you're out there and you're running a business, you need this. That's all I got to say. It doesn't matter what CRM you use because Company Cam uh, has an integration with almost every CRM that is on the planet right now. And Company Cam is a must have. I have used this at the last several companies that I've worked at. Uh, or managed. Uh, my newest uh, company that I'm with, which I'll talk about that here in a little while, uh, we use company cam even more so to the fullest effect. I was actually going to sign in, but I don't want to have customers information. Um, guys, the install team uses this. The whole company does. But the best thing about this is it takes quality pictures and now your technicians don't have to have these saved on their phone. Um, there's more and more companies. Should people be given the company phones? Yeah, they should. iPads, whatever it is. Um, but a lot of people now, they're using personal phones for whatever reason it is. And even if it's not, the only pictures on there, you can't find pictures of your kids, your personal stuff. It's always these stupid pictures of nomenclatures, of furnaces, and all that kind of stuff. Well, it's 2024. It's over. You don't have to do that anymore. Company Cam has taken that away from you. So now... You can have all these pictures right where they're supposed to be. They're cataloged in the customer. You know who took them, when they took them, because it's time stamped. It's geo stamped. You know where they were standing. You know everything about that photo. All right. It's going to be easier. It gives you custom pre built templates to be able to give customers before and afters. You know, I don't care if it's a service call. Nowadays, it's pictures are worth a thousand words. Even if you're doing a service call, and I always believe it's best to have the customer in front of you to show them if the coil is dirty, whatever it is, show them. It adds value. Nowadays, a lot of people, they're working from home. They don't have time to come down. So pictures is going to be the next best thing. Take before and after pictures. Hey, this is what that coil looks like. That blower wheel is extremely dirty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean it. And when I get done, I'll take another picture and I'll show you side by side so you can see exactly what I did for you today, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Great. Go ahead and take care of that, Gil. I come back up. I got a pre-made template. It's going to show both of those pictures in a professional manner. And they're going to be like, man, you did such a great job. It is simple. You can mark up the picture, add things. Um, our sales team uses this to communicate with the installers. They have exactly all the information they need, whether it's the measurements, the distance in the basement, the back door you're supposed to come in. All those little things that the sales team has to communicate to the installers, sometimes it gets lost in the shuffle. And that's when people get pissed off. That's when installers start bitching about the sales guys. The sales guys start bitching about the installers. And guess what? You can't have that in your company culture and you can't grow a company that way. Company Cam solves it all and it is easy. Company Cam is a no brainer and any company that I ever manage will use Company Cam. Hands down, point blank. I highly suggest anybody out there um, go check out Company Cam if you're running a business. Like I said, it does not matter what CRM you're using. Uh, I've had the integration with House Call Pro, Service Titan. I've used it with several different CRMs, so it doesn't matter. Uh, they can have the integration. And even if it doesn't, you can still make this work. So don't let that be something that makes you not do this. Check out my friends at, at Company Cam. And for being a part of HVAC Uncensored Nation, if you go to www.companycam.com forward slash HVAC Uncensored, they are going to give you a free 14-day trial. Free 14 days. Try it out. See if you like it. I know you will. Uh, that's guaranteed. I promise you, you'll like it. Um, use it. And then if you do... They're going to give you two months free. Don't say I never gave you anything, all right? So go check out my friends over at Company Cam. It is amazing. I cannot rave about them enough. Go check out my friends over at Company Cam. Next but not least is going to be my friends over at Yellow Jacket. Man, 75 years, and I love Yellow Jacket. I really do. I've always said this. They remind me of when I first got into this trade with my dad, my first set of gauges. It's just what it was. and. I love the history of them. I love that their products are made here in the United States. And I say this not to be mad. I know that some of these other manufacturers that I will not talk bad about make some good products and they're kind of flashy. But one thing that I always say about Yellow Jacket is what they build is durable. All right. I have literally beat the living hell out of their products and it works. I don't care how flashy something is sometimes. I really don't. 
having features is cool. I love having the features. I wanted to be able to do exactly why I bought it, why I purchased this tool, whether it is, uh, you know, the Y Jack, uh, flow manometer or the new Titan max digital manifold, which this thing is a beast to have one sitting to my left and another one that I gave away in a giveaway to, uh, miss HVAC, uh, chick Jennifer, um, that I have to ship out. Um, but we'll talk about some of that stuff. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, this, this thing is built. It's ergonomical the way you, uh, hold it in your hands. Uh, they updated the screen so that it's all color. It's not that monochrome screen anymore. It's all color. It looks just like their cell phone app and it gives you all the readings you need. And guess what? I beat the crap out of it. Okay. Because we're technicians, we're tradesmen. We put things in our vans. We beat up things sometimes, not intentional, but it happens. I don't want some fragile piece of gear that I got to have it wrapped in bubble wrap because I don't want it to break. Well, you don't have to worry about that when it comes to the, uh, Titan max. I guarantee that you can beat the living piss out of this thing. And when you hit the power button, it's going to turn on because I've torture tested it, uh, in every single way possible, way more than any of you are ever going to do. And mine still turns on every single time. All right. And just like everybody else does, all of their wireless stuff is going to, you know, link up to this so you can be all wireless, however you want it. And also you can purchase this thing. I think they have four or five different kits, um, however you get it. So obviously the price is going to depending on that. Uh, it has a, a hook and strong magnets on the back. You can stick it to the side of the unit. You can hang it, whatever. It is also going to be a 2 L compatible for all that new stuff coming in. It's going to kick us in the nuts in, um, 2025. Not really, not a big deal. A two L's aren't. Don't be, don't be scared. Okay. Uh, it's going to be fine, but guys, this is absolutely amazing. I love this thing. I highly suggest people could check it out. And if you're not, you know, already deep into a platform, then go yellow jacket all the way. If you are deep in a platform, say it's one of the others, but you still want to try this shoot, go do it. Yellow jacket is on the true, uh, well, you can get it at True Tech Tools. That's not what I meant. But yes, True Tech Tools and use the discount code uncensored and save 8% on your order. But no, I meant to say that they are on uh, the Measure Quick app. And uh, say you have a couple of different brands. I get it. It's expensive to be able to say, I've spent all this money for this particular manufacturer and their tools, and it's too much to switch all the way over. I get it. I don't expect, I'm realistic. Um, but now with measure quick, which I highly suggest that people use it, it's hands down the best HVAC app there is on the market. Um, you can use a variety of tools. So now you're not locked in. So if something, your manifold breaks, but you still have some of the wireless gear from somebody else, go get the Titan max. You can use that in conjunction with the other manufacturers if need be. So know that your options are open. Don't let that be the reason that you don't put this amazing tool in your hands because when I tell you it is awesome, it is awesome. Uh, I love this. I think my friends over at Yellow Jacket knocked it out of the park with this. And I know they have a bunch of other new things coming, but uh, this one is amazing. I have thoroughly enjoyed using it. Uh, now all of my texts that I'm training are like, can you get me one? Can you get this? Can you get me a discount? No, bitch, I can't get you a discount. You got to watch the show and maybe you'll get one given away and I might just ship it to you. But uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, it's amazing. Like I said, remember, it comes in several different packages. You can get just the manifold and hoses. You can get just the manifold. You can get the manifold, hoses, book bags, all that kind of stuff. So when you look it up, please remember it comes in different packages. Some are more expensive than others. The one that we're looking at right now is the part number 40881, which includes the Titan, two temperature clamps, the vacuum sensor, a USB-C charging and data cable, and uh, see backpack kits also available. So just know there's different kits before you're like, oh my God, I didn't know it's going to be so expensive. Pay attention to what you're looking at. There's different options, okay? With that being said, remember, 75 years of expertise built into every tool. Friends over at Yellow Jacket. Let's get on to the show. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless the United States. 
And thank you to all those men and women who defended. Welcome to the number one Reddit HVAC podcast. If you're looking to grow in the HVAC industry, then you're in the right spot. Blue collar people talking about blue collar shit. Let's get better together. So turn up the volume, buckle your seatbelt, and let's welcome your host, Gil KB Jr. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the HVAC Uncensored Podcast. I am your host, Gil Cavey Jr. Here we are, another show. I'm not going to say Wednesday because this is actually a Sunday and it's not a live show, uh, but I'm going to get into all of that. Um, I apologize that I've kind of been MIA for a little bit. I'm going to touch on that. Uh, in this episode. Um, so this audio is going to go out and then I'll probably release the video. So it's going to be a little different, but starting this Wednesday, I'll be back to the regularly scheduled program, uh, Wednesday, uh, uh 8 PM Eastern standard time. Um, a lot of changes have happened in my life, man, over the last I don't know, six months. Most of you know that I walked away from Beltway, a company I absolutely loved, and um, they're doing great. I have no hard feelings toward that place. I have another opportunity uh, that I'm doing now, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. But if you follow the show, you also know that I've had a lot of personal things going on. Uh, my mom has stage four lung cancer, so I've been dealing with that, uh, taking care of my mom, going to appointments, all that kind of stuff. And... Um, my wife also has has a, a brain condition. We've dealt with some of those health issues. And um, me and my wife have been together for t- almost 20-something years, man. She was my high school sweetheart. And I kind of got uh, blindsided. I, I don't want to say blindsided because I don't want to speak ill of my wife. I'll never, ever do that. But long story short, that me and my wife are going to be separating. You will not hear a bad word come out of my mouth about that woman. She's the mother of my children. Uh, she's been my best friend for the longest time. Uh, sadly, we just grew apart over the years and we tried everything. Um, well, almost everything in order to make it work. And now sadly, you know, splitting is going to be the best option. Um, sadly. And, uh, it definitely, it definitely hit me hard. Uh, yeah, I, I had to just, I had to step back, you know, especially be there for my kids. My older boys kind of understand my daughters don't, uh, me and my wife are trying to be very calculated in how that we do that. Um, so yeah, it's, I've been going through that. And uh, it's been a tough pill to swallow. Even when you know maybe it's for the best, um, there's a lot of emotions that come through. Like I said, I've been with this woman forever. And um, it, it's even when you see the writing on the wall, when it actually gets finalized and it happens and you, you, you say the words out loud, it's like a kick in the nuts. It really is. Uh, it sucks as a man, you look and be like, man, I could have done this better. I could have done that better, but you know what? It's anything in life and it is what it is. We're, we're where we are right now, whether either one of us like it. Um, but it sucks, you know, just bought this house. Um, it's all kinds of stuff. So a lot of things are going to be changing in the future. Sadly, um, I'm trying to prepare myself mentally for that, but uh, I, I really just needed a little bit of a break, man. I really had to clear, clear my head. Obviously, being the, you know, the leader of this family, the leader of this household, uh, I try not to always show my emotion, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, but I really needed to just get my head together. I really, really did. Um, like I said, this was kind of like a took it on the chin, and um, I, I just needed some time to myself. So. I want to thank everybody, all of my friends out there, the the listeners and um, viewers and all that kind of stuff who message me, who email me, making sure everything's okay. Guys, it, I've said this time and time again over the years when something's happened and people do this, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Even the ones that maybe I didn't answer. I know I didn't answer every email. 
Um, I answered most of the text messages, but to all of you that reached out to me, I thank you from the bottom of my heart because you have no idea how happy that made me feel that people give a shit whether I podcast or not. Um, you know, and this show has always been for fun. I love doing it. I love, uh, the feedback that I get from people and the relationships that I've built. Some of my best friends in the world because of this podcast. And, um, I, I, I don't take that for granted. So all of you who reached out to me, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. And to be honest, you guys maybe don't realize, but sometimes when those messages came through, I needed it. You know, that's the God's honest truth that I, I, I needed it, especially at that time. So life goes on, you know, I, I'll be fine. I'm not going to sit here and bitch and moan and whine, but I, I, I'm not going to go into any other details. I just, it, I can't right now. If you guys get the drift, I just can't. Um, a lot of things behind the scenes going on, but, um, yeah, me and my wife are going to separate. Uh, we're still living in the same house right now. Um, you know, but we are going to separate and, um, I figured I owe some kind of explanation to everybody out there wondering what the hell's going on and where I've been. So, uh, I'm okay. My mom's okay. I know a couple people are like, oh my God, did something happen to your mom? And I, I totally understand why you would have thought that. Mama's good. She's fine. Um, so that's what been, what's been going on. Um, and like I told you, man, I don't like not podcasting, man. This podcasting to me, for one, I have a blast doing it. And it's like therapy for me. I love sitting here talking to everybody, especially when I do the podcast live and I'm bullshitting with the people in the chat. And, you know, sometimes we got a lot of people and sometimes there's 20 people, but I know those 20 people, you know, guys and girls that come in, I enjoy talking with them. I enjoy having conversations, seeing how they're doing, how their week went, et cetera. So I look forward to it. So, um, it's not easy when I say that I'm not going to podcast, but just trust me when I said that I really, really needed that break. Um, I hope that everybody is doing amazing out there. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, cry, you know, sob fucking story about me. I know everybody's got shit going on. And, um, I, I guess I say that cause I want all of you to know, no matter how bad you think, think things are going in your life. They will always get better, okay? They Sometimes they get worse before they get better, but you will make it out okay, all right? Keep your head up, keep your chin held high, and I promise you, you'll be okay, all right? You guys know I used to be a drug addict piece of shit, never thought I'd have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, and I've been able to move forward in my life, to have nice things, to be able to be a productive men member of society, take care of my family, and all that kind of stuff, all right? So... It sucks to be kicked when you're down, but hey, that's life. Life's hard. You know, I always say life sucks, get a helmet. Uh, so I hope you take that story as not like, oh, poor Gil, because that's not what I want. You know, I, I don't. I, I just want to be honest, the fact that I've missed a couple episodes and people are wondering what's going on and the fact that I love you guys, I, I want you to know what's going on. I just can't provide details and you, you have to understand that. So I hope all of you are doing well. I know there's a lot of things that happened in the world since I talked to you guys last. We've had the election, which however you feel, whatever side you're on, it doesn't matter. Um, it's over. The country chose, regardless whether you chose it or you did not choose it, but um, just, you know, let, let it go, man. It, it sucks when your team loses. Trust me, the Ravens lost today to the goddamn Steelers, and I'm not happy, but Life goes on. What are you, you going to do? Um, same thing when it comes to politics and all this stuff that I'm hearing about. Oh, if your family is on the opposite side or believes in a different party, you probably shouldn't go to Thanksgiving. Well, that's fucking ridiculous, man. Don't do that. That's stupid. Me and me. And, well, I can't say that me and most of my family have the same political beliefs, but some of them don't. But I, I'm not going to not talk to them and not see them on Thanksgiving because of some dumb shit like that. So please, anybody out there. Don't do that. All right. And if you may, if you said some things to your family during this whole, you know, cutthroat, when we got the media telling everybody, if you don't do this, you're a piece of shit. You better vote for this guy. Vote for the left. No, no, you better vote for the right. It's over. It's done with. Don't lose family members over something so stupid. Okay. Um, and I'm that I'm just going to leave that at that. I'm not going to get into a political conversation here that this is not the the time or the place, but with the holidays coming up, 
Thanksgiving is to remember what you're thankful for in your family. All right. As someone who I only have one parent left, thank God I have my brother, my sister, my children, and you know, that kind of stuff. But I only have my mom left. So I am very thankful for my family. You know, God forbid when it comes time that my mom's gone, I'm going to be in my 40s and not have any parents. So I am grateful for every single day that I have with her. Um, and with my siblings and stuff like that, my nieces, my nephews, my children, my friends, um, don't let something so dumb ruin that. Please don't do that. All right. Um, so with that being said, most of us are getting into the, you know, the winter grind in most, most places. I know some of the places down South or maybe out in California, you guys are still doing AC calls to shade you. Um, I wish we had an eight month long, uh, summer here in Maryland, but we do not. Um, so we were kind of in that little dip. It's been a lot of heating maintenances and shit like that we're doing now. And, um, getting some demand calls that it's been dropping down at night and getting cold below freezing, uh, quite a few change out still everybody trying to take advantage of those 410 prices before the first of the year. Uh, when most manufacturers say there's going to be, you know, at least a 30% increase. And that's kind of across the board. Obviously we won't know until, uh, you know, what exact numbers are or until, uh, you know, the first of the year, but, um, 30% has been pretty standard for most. I've heard that from different States, uh, a lot of friends in the industry, all my local connects that I have with different manufacturers, ones that I don't even, you know, sell per se, uh, I've said the same thing. So 30% has kind of been that mark. Um, so use that to your advantage. Obviously, like I always say, always be honest. Don't fucking lie to people. Be thorough in what you do and communicate well to the customer. If you can do those two things, there's enough honest money out there. You don't got to be a shit bag and lie, cheat and steal to people. Um, they're getting hip to that game. And uh, you fucks who do do that are, are giving the rest of us who do this honestly a bad name. All right. Um, but bring it up to customers, especially if it is an old system and tell them, hey, were you thinking about replacing the system? Because if you are, I just want to let you know, as of the first of the year, there's going to be some EPA regulations where the refrigerant changes. Um, so if you want to do that, it makes sense to buy it now. You get a 30% discount versus what it's going to be after the first of the year. Um, and you can still get like the 25C tax credit. A lot of things have a you know $2,000 rebate, all that kind of stuff. So Make sure you're educating your customers. If they say no, hey, I'm just going to let this thing kick. I ain't got the money right now. Christmas coming up. Okay. It is what it is. Your job is to let them know. You're the professional. Um, let them know what their options are. And if they decide to do it, great. If they don't, then so be it. All right? Educate them. Don't beat them up and take their checkbook or their wallet. That's not what you're supposed to do. Um. With that being said, I have taken a new opportunity. Um, I haven't put a mu much out online because I've been dealing with other things, not for any reason but that. So um, I have to change like my Facebook profile and all that kind of stuff because uh, it still says that I'm a general manager at Beltway, which most of you know that I am not. Um, so I took another position and uh, I'm really excited for it, man. It was a little different at first when you're with somebody for so long. Obviously, you guys know I did some coaching over the summer uh, with my good buddy, Mr. Zeke Warner, who is the owner of JC Warner and Son. Um, you know, he's always in the chat. He's another one that's always here. A good friend of mine, great human being, uh, just an amazing person. Um, had a blast doing that. Um, and then I just kind of chilled for a little bit, took some more time off, you know, doing things with the family. And, uh, then I had, a, uh, I put my resume out, uh, just to do it, to be honest, I wasn't in a rush to find anything because I didn't have to, um, I was staying home. I was doing stuff with family, you know, trying to rebuild things if you get my drift. Um, so yeah, I put it out and I got several calls. Most of them, I was like, nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. But one popped up that was very intriguing to me. And I went, I interviewed with them. I really like what they had to say. And um, we agreed on numbers and all that kind of stuff. And I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I was at Beltway. It's like an operational, pretty much it's the owners than me. So I, I don't care what the title is. I think they're, um, we're doing operations manager, but 
I'm not a title chaser. I don't give a fuck about the title. I do what I do regardless. Um, but it's uh, it's an amazing company. It is Super Tech HVAC Services um, here in Maryland. Um, the owners are first generation Chinese Americans, but they are really, really amazing people. They're awesome. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to know them and the culture differences and, um, understanding that sometimes just because of those culture differences, the employees would think something that was not even true. Um, so I've been helped to drive their culture, to drive it, and I'm going to help this company grow and they will grow because their foundation is amazing. They have all the processes and systems in place. Um, they just, they had trouble getting people in the door and then growing off of that. They were constantly in like this replacement mentality, uh, and you can't grow with that. So I am very excited for this challenge. Um, you know, they have showed their commitment to me. I mean, hell, last week they bought me a brand new 2024 Ford F-150. Brand spanking new. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Um, obviously, I've always had a truck to drive. That's been part of my deal. And um, they pay me very well. And they bought me that truck, which I think is amazing. So I'm very appreciative to them. Um, and I can't wait to help make this team grow. And, uh, we, we will grow trying to build another all-star team and move it forward. And, and I love doing this because I always say that I love this trade. I love blue collar trades, specifically HVAC, obviously, cause that's what I came up in. That's what I did. Um, but I love the trades as a whole, but I don't want to talk about moving the trades forward. I want to do something to move the trades forward. So that's why sometimes once like Beltway, Beltway is going to rock and roll. Ryan's got an amazing team there. And whether I'm there or not, me and Ryan busted our ass to build the foundation of that company and get it growing. And he is in a very smart dude. He has it. It's rocking and rolling. Ryan will take it to the finish line. I have no doubt in my mind that he will. Um, now I can go somewhere else and help evolve this company. You know, another company out there that's making money. Um, they're profitable. It's an amazing place for people to come work. Um, and another good thing is, I guess, this company isn't real. I wouldn't say it's really a competitor of Beltway, which is also good about this because I, even though I left Beltway, I still love the people. I love that company. I would never want to do anything to hurt them. So granted, we're all in Maryland, so we're all fighting for the same piece of pie, but they're far enough away that they're not, I wouldn't say that they're direct competitors because when I was running Beltway and we had to do sales or I would go do sales calls, I never once went up against them, uh, super tech. So there's enough distance that they're separated and there's not going to be a whole bunch of overlap. So that's another reason why I was excited about this position because I had some offers from direct competitors of Beltway. Um, even though they seem like good companies and they were throwing a lot of money at me, I just couldn't do that. I couldn't take those offers. Uh, so I turned them down. Uh, but this one is, is awesome. I love this. Um, so yeah, I am so looking forward and, and it's already, it's a little, little under two months that I've been there and, um, already we're seeing things change, you know, driving this culture and people happy to come to work. You know, I want people to come to work because they want to, not because they have to. And I want a lot of you out there to think it like everybody talks about culture nowadays and I get it. Uh, but I think some people get diarrhea of the mouth and talk about it just for the sake of talking about it. Um, I want to change the culture in a positive way at companies. The old way of my way or the highway is fucking dying. You as the technicians, man or woman, whatever, you hold all the cards, especially if you're good at what you do, if you're licensed, if your state requires that, um, you can name your price. And it's not just about money. You want to work at a company that you enjoy, the people that you work with, um, you feel appreciated, you know, stuff like that. And that's the changes I'm trying to move. So for the rest of my career, if every couple of years I get a company going, I roll and I go to the next and so be it. Um, who knows? I mean, I might be at super tech forever. I mean, it, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I love the fact that now I'm getting the opportunity to do it again because it means that I've truly impacted the industry that I know and love. Um, a lot of people talk about it. Um, a lot of people try to do as much as they possibly can and we can all impact the, the industry in different ways. 
Um, so this is the way that I'm trying to impact, especially in the local area. Obviously the podcast is more on a national level, but, uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed this and, um, I'm having an awesome time. It's got me excited again, uh, to be back out doing some training and managing a building and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, so that is what I'm up to now. You'll probably see some videos of me, you know, at the company, at the office, stuff like that here shortly. Uh, I kind of held back a little bit in the beginning, um, uh, really because my mind was somewhere else. And, uh, when I was at work, I was just focused on work because it was trying to, it was kind of giving me a break from, you know, what I had going on at home or have going on at home. So, um, that's why if you guys notice, I haven't really been on social media. I literally took a break from everything. I just needed to, I, I needed to give my brain a rest, uh, to gather myself moving forward. Um, but I am truly excited about this opportunity. I really am. And uh, as always, I'm going to take you guys along for it, uh, making videos. I can't wait for you guys to introduce you to some people on the team, you know, new names and faces. I like them to get there, you know, five minutes of fame too, especially when people are doing things the right way. Um, I want to promote those people and I want people to know who they are and what they do. Um, you know, I had a good time with my, my young bucks over the summer. Uh, Mr. Tanner and Wyatt, who I still keep in touch with, two amazing young men that I had uh, the pleasure of uh, training. And uh, those guys are kicking ass and taking names now. So um, that's awesome. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that father-son kind of thing. You know what I mean? Even though they're grown-ass men, they're younger, but still um, seeing them succeed, man, to be able to impact people's lives, let them put money in their pocket. So it, it's awesome. And I want to continue to do that and help people as much as I possibly can. And at the same time, like I always say, it makes me better. Um, I'm not going to say it. I know people are listening like, Gil, I'm waiting for you to say it. Okay, fine. I'm going to say it. In the words of Mr. Jim Bergman, you don't really know something till you have to teach somebody else. There you go. I said it. Okay. I said it. God damn it. Um, Sorry, I shouldn't use the Lord's name in vain. I apologize. Um, but yeah, so this is just going to be a little check-in, letting you guys know what the heck has been going on with me. And um, I'm good. My mom's good. Uh, just life is kicking me when I'm down, but I'll be all right, man. I'm, I'm a fighter. I always have been, and I'll get through anything that life wants to throw at me. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things happening in the next probably year or so. Um, and I'm just going to take them as they come. It, that's just pretty much what it is. Um, you know, anybody else out there that's going through anything hard, like I said before, you'll get through it, man. I promise you'll get through it. It doesn't matter how bad it is. Uh, keep your mind right. Take time to yourself. Talk to somebody. Thank God I have some amazing friends and family, um, that I can, you know, be able to talk to and, and get things out. And, uh, I'll be honest, it, it, I'm not... I have lost so many friends. I've buried so many people. My father, um, you know, I, I've gotten numb after my dad passed away. Uh, some of you don't know, I lost my be one of my best friends and my dad within six months. And um, after that, I just got numb. And some of it's not good because some things I need to feel. So a lot of times I don't show emotion and it's taken the wrong way as if I don't care or I don't, and it's not, it's not that I don't care. It's just, that's kind of like a coping mechanism with my body. I, I've just gotten numb because there's some things I don't want to feel hurt anymore that I've lost so many people. Um, the whole point of me saying that is like, you can always get through stuff, no matter how bad you think it is, there's a way to get through it. All right. And when those things happen, I'm thinking, this is it. How am I ever going to get past this? Well, guess what? I'm still standing, you know, and, um, I'm still going to be standing and it, I want all of you to be that in the same way. Don't let yourself go down that rabbit hole. Don't let yourself have these dark thoughts. Um, and I not say that is I'm different. Trust me. I'm somebody who's battled anxiety and depression for a long time. That's why I talk about it, that, and, you know, addiction and mental health, I'm open. That's why I talk about it so much on this podcast. I don't say it like I'm preaching at you. I say it because I deal with the same shit that you deal with. I promise you, I'm no different than you. We're all human. But I do promise you this, you can get through it. All right? So if any of you out there right now, you're tackling something in life, I promise you can get through it. If I can help you in any way, email me. 
All right, info at HVACOnCenter.com, or you can still use the old one, HVACOnCenter at gmail.com. Um, email me, all right? It's, I'm more than happy. Give me a little bit to answer it. I'm catching up on emails. I have a lot of people I got to get in touch with. Um, so, but email me. I'm more than happy to talk to you. I'm no counselor, but um, I'd be more than happy to, to talk to you. You can bounce things off of me. Who knows? I may be bouncing off of you. You may turn into my therapy session, but, uh, no, nah, and all seriously, please email me. So info at HVAC uncensored.com or HVAC uncensored at gmail.com. Um, email me if I can help, but I promise you, you get through it. All right. We got some holidays coming up. Sometimes for people, it's a good thing. Sometimes people, it's a bad thing. Um, I, I, I know some people that they dread the holidays because of, losing a loved one or maybe not having family around or whatever it is. So I want to be careful talking about that. So hopefully you're excited about the holidays, Thanksgiving's coming, Christmas, um, all those kind of things. I hope everybody had an amazing Halloween with the kiddos. Uh, I took mine out in the neighborhood. We had an amazing time. My daughter's had a blast. So yeah. Hopefully all of you have somewhere, you know, family to go with on Thanksgiving. Um, you know, have somebody to spend that day with, even if it's not family, if it's friends. So I hope that you have somebody to uh, do that with. Um, I am excited. It's almost that time again when it comes to AHR in Orlando. So super excited about that. You know, the HVAC Tactical Award was a blast. I look forward um, to all of those. I'm definitely going to go to go to AHR without a doubt. Um, I want it to get out in 2025 to be able to get some more of these other conventions. Um, but every time I say I'm going to do that, something happens where I can't uh, on the home front. And I would like to say that I'm going to do that more in 2025, but now with everything that has transpired, I don't know if it's going to be able to happen. So yeah, I just don't know. So I don't want to make that promise. I don't want to lie to you guys, but I will 100% be at AHR without a doubt. I don't miss that one. So I'll be at AHR in Orlando and I will be at the HVAC Tactical Awards as well. Um, and then we'll go from there. It's going to play, play it by the hip, you know, play it by, play it by the hip. I don't know. I think I'm saying that wrong, but, uh, I'm looking forward to this Wednesday to doing the first live show in a little bit. Um, I want to say thank you to all of my amazing sponsors of this show. Um, you know, this thing would not be possible without them. So, you know, uh, I'm going to give them all a quick shout out, I'm not trying to do a sponsor read, but, um, you know, Camel City Mill Socks, amazing socks. I tell all of you, we're always worried about the boots that we put our feet in and you should, but be worried about the socks just as much. And um, if you use the discount code on sensor at Camel, uh, Camel City Mill, um, you can save uh, 10% off. These socks are amazing. I've had a shit ton of people buy them. I wear them every day for work. So check them out. Uh, House Call Pro, an amazing one. House Call Pro has come leaps and bounds over the years. Um, and they have done nothing but prove me wrong back in the day when I said you couldn't grow a company with them. And uh, I eat my words. Um, as you know, Mr. Uh, Roland Littenberg was on here not long ago, the founder of House Call Pro. And um, I highly suggest you check them out if you're looking for a CRM. I have discount codes for them again. I'm not going to go through that. You can go into the show notes and find it. Um, so do that. Uh, obviously, Yellow Jacket was I read in the beginning. Company Cam, which I read in the beginning, so I won't go into them. Uh, True Tech Tools. I firmly believe in buying local if you can. If you cannot support one of your local supply houses, then go give True Tech Tools. They have the best variety of HVAC tools in one place that there is. Uh, it does not get better than that. And remember, if you use the discount code uncensored, you can save 8% on your order. Uh, and then last but not least is going to be my friends over at Vito Pro Pack, who makes the best tool bags in the world, in the universe, whatever. I didn't know where I was going there, but they make the best tool, tool bags. Uh, they're not the cheapest, but they are the best, and you get what you pay for uh, with that five-year five, five, uh, five year zero downtime warranty. Um, so go check them out. And then last but not least is going to be my friends over at Local. Um, if any of you out there are looking for a digital marketing company that is not going to rip you off, uh, local is one of them. Um, there are several that I believe in local is one of them. They give you a report card at the end of the week to tell you exactly where your money went, what worked, what didn't work. 
And I think that's amazing because there's so these companies out there and some of them are big. I hate to say it. I'm not going to say names, but you pay all this money. And then when you have meetings and you say, oh, what did we do? Blah, blah, blah. They get offended. Like, what do you mean? What did we do? And you wonder why your money's not doing, it's not working and all that kind of stuff. So local is a good one. Um, they offer a discount as well. That's a newer one. So I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember what it is to be honest, but once again, once again, Jesus, I can't speak, uh, down in the show notes, all that kind of stuff will be there. You can go find it. Uh, whether you're watching the video, it'll be, uh, YouTube, Facebook down in the show notes, or if you listen to the audio, uh, it'll be in the show notes under that. So all of that will be there for you. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to get ready to close this thing out. Uh, I went longer than I did, but I wanted to come in here and just give this little check in to let everybody know that I'm still alive. All right. I'm still alive. I'm still handsome as shit. This fresh bald head. Um, but yeah, I'm good. I appreciate all of you, man. I really, really do. Um, and I can't wait to get back and do the live shows and seeing everybody. And, uh, once again, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, got some, and, and, oh, I want to say this real fast to all the guests that I had to reschedule. I want to apologize, but I want to thank all of you for being so awesome. Um, everyone understood. Obviously I didn't go into details, but I let them know I was going through some stuff and they were absolutely all amazing. So thank you guys so much uh, for understanding uh, that I was just going through a tough time, but uh, we will get all of them rescheduled so that nobody misses out on these amazing guests. We have a bunch of amazing shows coming up and I'm also looking forward to doing some solo shows uh, just me to be able to talk about some topics that I want to get into, uh, get back to some more technical things and stuff like that. Um, so going to finish out this year strong and, um, yeah. And then get ready to kick 2025 right in the balls. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to close this thing out. Um, guys, uh, remember to follow the podcast on all the social media sites so you can stay up to date on everything that I have going on, whether it is a giveaway, something to do with a sponsor, whatever it is, make sure that you stay up to date. Um, and make sure you follow me. That's going to be Facebook, um, the podcast. So the business page, HVAC Uncensored, HVAC Uncensored podcast. Uh, you can join the Facebook group, HVAC Uncensored Nation. That group's a little rough around the edges, um, but I love them. But they will bust your balls, letting you know that going into it. Um, and then there's going to be Instagram which also grows. I'm trying to build that. And I'm on TikTok, but not as much. Really, it's Instagram is the one that I'm on the most when I am active. And then make sure you download the audio podcast. Oh, YouTube. I'm sorry. Uh, can't forget YouTube. Um, that's where you're going to be able to get audio and video podcasts there. And also, if you come Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can watch the show live, be in the chat, chit chat with us. I'd love to have you here um, and talk to everybody. I'm also going to try to get back to the live streams at some point um, because I, I enjoy doing those live streams because when I have a guest and I'm doing a podcast, it's hard for me to always be looking at the chat and answer everyone when I'm trying to give the guest my time to make sure that the show ends up being a good show. I have to dictate and control the show where it goes. Make sure I'm not talking too much. They're not talking too much. All that kind of stuff. There's more into a podcast than you may think. So I have to be paying attention to what's going on. So I can't always be looking at the comments, which is why I thank my moderators so much for what they do. Um, so that and then the audio pod, wherever you get your audio podcast, download the audio podcast. Um, make sure you're subscribed to it and then give me a five star review, please. If, if you enjoy, you're getting value out of these podcasts, um, or just having a good time, man, if you learn something great, if it puts a smile on your face, puts you in a good mood, that's enough for me. Um, if you wouldn't mind giving me a five star review, wherever you get it, if you don't think it's five stars, do me a favor, email me and let me know what I can be doing better. You guys are my end user. You are my customer. Like I always say, email me HVAC uncensored at gmail.com or info at HVAC uncensored.com. Um, and let me know, be like, Hey man, I love you did this. Or if you did this a little bit better, as long as you don't come off like an asshole when you do it, of course, I'm going to take your feedback. You know, um, I'm not a professional radio host. I've been podcasting for a long time. I've gotten better, but you can always, you can always do better. You can always get better. Um, and I'm constantly trying to evolve the best that I can. Um, so send me that email. 
but if you think it is good and you do think that I'm worth a five-star review, if you wouldn't mind leaving that, it would be greatly appreciated so we can get this thing out to more and more people, keep growing, and be able to do more things to give back to all of you, uh, whether it is giveaways, discount codes, whatever it is. Um, I would love to be able to do that. All right. That being said, now I'm going to close this thing out. Uh, guys, remember, be safe out there. Keep your head on a swivel. All right. It's I don't care if you're driving, whatever it is. I want you to make it home the same way that you left. All right. Please be careful. Make sure the breakers turned off. I don't care if your boss, your dad, your best friend said, don't worry, it's off. Double check. All right. When you're driving, you may be the best driver in the world, but guess what? There's some fucking lunatics out there driving. Um, just please, please be careful. I do not want to hear that anything happened to any of my brothers and sisters out there. Um, please be careful. All right. I want you to make it home the same way you left. Do the little things. Set yourself apart from the next guy or girl. All right. If you're going to do something, do it to 100% of your ability or don't fucking do it. Guys and girls, there's no reason nowadays to say, I don't know. Because if you really want to know something, you really want to be better, there is so many ways to do that. We live in the day and age of the internet, all right? Um, it, it's a podcast, YouTube videos, uh, online courses, um, all these different things. Uh, you can do all these kind of things to make yourself better. There's interplay learning when it comes. There is the SkillCat app. Both of them have been on the show. Mr. Rushir, the CEO of um, Skillcat, has been on here. Amazing app, 10 bucks a month. And you can learn whatever you want, all different kinds of trade stuff. So don't tell me there's not a way to do that. There is. Invest in yourself. Even if it's not even trade related and you're good, keep trying to make yourself better. There's no such thing as staying the same. Um, the other thing is, is give back to people. Like Just give a shit about other people. I always say this, uh, if you work with somebody for a long time, you know changes in them. If they're always on time, say you get to work 7 a.m. every morning, you've been working with this person for five years and they're always on time and you start to notice for now a week, they're 10 minutes late, they're 15 minutes late, they're 30 minutes late. Ask them, hey man, is everything all right? Sometimes, to go back what we talked about earlier, sometimes when somebody asks that question, it's exactly what you need in that moment, all right? Just be a good human, man, and give a shit about other people, all right? You put out positivity in the world, I promise you, and I believe in this, you get positivity back, and that's the truth. Um, so don't be one of those people, it's a sourpuss, that everything is negative, everything, the world's gonna end, and all that kind of stuff. Just don't be that way, all right? And with that being said, I love you mofos, and until next time, I'll talk at you later, all right? See ya. Thanks for listening to the HVAC Uncensored Podcast. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram or email us anytime at HVACUncensored at gmail.com. Now, get back to work. Shut this down. The views and opinions shared on the HVAC Uncensored Podcast may not necessarily be the views and opinions of our sponsors or guests.